Hello, good afternoon. I'm back again, Lutra FM, with another episode of the So So Youth Only Save. We're on episode 54 now. And um, last episode, we managed to, at the end of the episode, managed to beat our rivals, Lens, who were just above us. We managed to, we were losing 2 1, we managed to come back and win 3 2, which was a great result, great comeback by the lads. And we're currently third now in the league. We're two points behind Lens, we're second. Um, and in this episode, we, we've we got the uh, the task of playing PSG in our first game of the episode. Um, we did beat them last time we played them in a sharp win. I don't think we're going to beat them this time, if I'm honest with you. They are doing very well. They're like 12 or 13 points clear of Lens at the moment. So we've got a tough task ahead of us, but we'll see how it goes. And on that note, I'll be back in a sec with the game against PSG. Right, so here we are, big game of the season. Um, we got our usual front four here, um, so I think we're pretty much ready to go. Really, I think it's probably our strongest team we've got possible. So we we'll just have to see how it goes. But yeah, I'm dreading this game personally. I'm assuming Mbappe's playing. Hopefully, he's not. I mean, even without Mbappe, they've got a very strong team. But we are the underdogs, and that will probably that might work out well for us. There you go, Mbappe. They've already scored after literally less than one minute. It's going to be an absolute bloodbath. Absolute bloodbath. Paisley's not going to be able to play longer than the first half as well, by the looks of it. Oh, I dread to think what this score is going to be by the end of it. Oh, I'm not. There you go. Good header out, Bastian. Can we end the game now? 1 0? I'm happy with 1 0 loss. Good defensive play there by Didot. Pop out, boots it out. Fortune doesn't go to any of our players. Barella for PSG now. Zeri Emery. Good shot. We've managed to keep hold of it though. Pinto. LeBron passes it all the way back to the goalie. I feel like most of our highlights are going to be defensive play by us, but we never know. Oh, Kofi with the chance there. Throw in. Bastian. Oh, no. Loses the ball. I mean, they've got Antonio Silva. They've got bloody Ugarte, Zari Emery. Mbappe, Musala, Hakimi, Kouamouani. It's literally just, there's a reason why PSG are top of the league every year. Go on. Yes, that's nice passing. Go on, Bastian. Uh, Bastian, what are you doing? A bit greedy by him. <sighs> right, 1 0 still. It's not too bad. Try and encourage the players a little bit more. Corner to PSG. Mendes floats it in. Headed out. Mbappe scores. Oh, okay. As soon as Mbappe gets the ball, I'm just assuming he's going to score. Suppose he didn't even make the first half. He's having to come off already. I feel like this is a training exercise game. Attack versus defence by the looks of it. Did I, again, absolutely playing atrociously. Thank God for our defence though, to a point. Keeping us in the game. That's He's, he's miles offside. If that gets allowed, I'm, ne I'm, I'm quitting the save. That's got to be disallowed. That was so bad. Do not allow this goal. I swear to God, I'll go mad. Thank you. Right. 1-0 at half time. Not too bad. Didot needs to come off though. Uh, who do we put on for him? Hold on. He can 
Come on, Chrome. Moving. Go on, Bastion. Blast it. Yes, get in. Go on, Bastion. 1-1. One, one. Fourth goal of the season for Bastion. You can always rely on him to rescue us. Right, 1-1. One, one. Ah, free kick for PSG. 2-1 coming up, everybody. They're taking their sweet time. Barella. Oof, okay. Somehow a goalkeeper got a hand to it. Uh, right, Tournier can go on there. Who else? Uh, neither of our central defenders are playing well, but I think we can't really tamper with them too much. Actually, I'm just going to leave it for now. Actually, Angeli needs... Oh, we can't take any more players off anyway. Oh, I don't know what I've done there. There we go. Right. Corner. That was a good goal by them, fair play. Pinging it around like a bloody pinball. Two one to PSG. Have we got one last chance in us? No, maybe not. They're probably going to end up scoring. Mbappe's got the ball. Oh. Let's try to demand a bit more. See how we get on. Last roll of the dice, really. Hakimi seems to be able to zoom past. There we go. 3-1. Mbappe was going to get that every day of the week. Not too bad, though. 3-1. They've avenged their uh, loss against us. I think we won three one. So, I mean, at the end of the day, if I could, if I could beat PSG once every season, I'll take it. So, not the best way of starting the episode, but it was inevitable. I think at this point, we've still got a long way ahead of us. Right then, we're back in a sec with the next game. Right, we're back. Uh, I just thought I'd show you this. So, the next gen um, top fifty best wonder kids in football has come along and we have actually got some players in there for a change so we've got Mugin who's 13th and Angeli who's 24 so Mugin's got actually a better upside to him than oh yeah Jesus Christ look at that um I need to tie him down to a new contract I think I mean he has got a four-year contract so let's see if we can get him to a five-year contract there we go five years I went a bit quick there I didn't even check I don't think he's got a minimum fee clause in there. Actually, let's just check. Paranoid now. But yeah, he I, he's completely come under the radar. I knew he was decent, but yeah. No minimum fee release clause. So that's good. And Gilly, how long's he here for? Oh, he's only here for two more years. We need to definitely tie him down to a new contract. Yeah, no minimum fee release clause as well. So our two top prospects are going to be here for a while. Um... 16.5 to 21 million absolute brilliant if we can get some good money for him down the road same with angeli as well i don't want to sell him if i can help it but at the end of the day the club's got to think about the finances as well so yeah but that's really good though i think that's the first time in this save that we've had so show players in the top 50 next gen so that's really good let's just see if there's any former players in here i don't think there is but i'll have a quick look um no, about this side, let's just quickly scroll across, oh yeah, Lafont. so Lafont, who we sold, um, he's in there as well, so that's a good, uh, another good one for the club, um, is it, was he a former of one of our players, no, um, let's check this one, du, 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 du. no, the last one, Barnum? No, I don't think Barnum was here. 
yeah, that's it. That's good. I have three, well, two players and one former player in the top 50. So, um, but we've got Reims next. Isanga's up front for some reason. I don't know why. Probably because Kofi's injured. I don't think we've got anybody better than him up front. Um, but we'll see how we get on. I might have to put Muller on. Yeah, we've got Corden on the left, Angeli in the middle, the lock on the right. We've got Zerbo in midfield with Mugin. So Thierry's probably injured as well. And then we've got our usual defence and goalkeeper. Hopefully we can bounce back and win this game. Good start, 1-0, own goal. We'll take it. We've been getting quite a few own goals this uh, in, in these games lately. I think it was two or three own goals in the last episode and we've had <clears throat> one now as well this one but yeah nice to see us winning so so soon in the game hopefully we can extend our lead get the morale back up good good by Bastian there managed to get past the player cross the ball in Pinto beautiful pass that should have been finished Kofi would have finished that Isanga just letting you know mate there's a reason why you don't play up front often. Right, 1-0. Actually, I'm just going to have a quick look while I'm at it. I'm just going to look at the squad. I just want to see who the highest valued players are in the squad. So, Mugin, Corden. Corden, bloody hell. He's he's uh, he's only here for two more years, so we definitely need... Oh, I need to accidentally release them there. Uh, we can only time that for three years, but that will do for now. And then Pinto's worth quite a bit, which is weird actually, because he didn't he didn't really do much, and now he's come out of nowhere and become the main right back. I think Bastian, obviously, our full backs do, do deserve a lot of credit for the the amount of uh, good play that they do. But yeah, hold on, let's just quickly go unavailable as well. So Didot is our highest valued player. So. As much as I'm moaning about him, I will happily sell him if I can get anywhere near that much money for him. But yeah, he's not playing very well this season. I say that, he's got seven goals and one assist, so he's not doing that bad. Uh, yeah, and obviously Kofi as well. But Kofi's only going to go down because he's 28 now. He'll be like the old man at the club. But he'll stay here until... Him and Bastian are going to stay here until they retire. I'm hoping that we win the league while they're still here. Uh, it's just... There we go. Right then. Sorry about that. I get sidetracked sometimes. Um, we're now we're now fifth, even though we're winning. So that just tells you everything you need to know about our recent form. Good, good, good. Two nil. Right, we can kind of relax a little bit now. Praise the team. Yeah, Isanga's not playing very well, so I'm going to take him off. Uh, we'll put on... I'm going to put Tornia up front, see how he gets on. Angeli with the corner. Zerbo. Mugin to Lebrun. Passes it across to Angeli. Pinto with the ball. Is he going to cross in? Beautiful cross. Good save by the goalie, though. Zerbo with the ball. Bastian. Ever reliable Bastian. Has another go at it. Bastian, what's he going to do? Is he going to be able to get past the player? He does. Lobs it up. Fortunately gets headed out. Pinto. Will he have a chance now? Oh, get in. Tornia. Right, let's see if this is allowed or not. I've got a feeling Tornia is going to be a really good player for us. He can play on either of the wings and up front. Yes, get in. 3 0. Yeah, Isanga needs to go if I can help it. Actually, in fact, I'm going to sell him now. I'm going to try and sell him now. If I can't sell him, I'm just going to release him. I don't care what I get for him. That'll do. Uh, yep, that'll do nicely. I'll try and add a clause, but it probably won't happen.
Paisley. Pinto. Beautiful cross. Patricio. Oh, we'll take it. Tenth goal of the season for Tony. Not 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 for the senior team, but in total he has scored seven for the uh youth teams and stuff, so he's doing very well. He'll become a first team regular in no time. But yeah, good performance, great way of getting past that loss against PSG. But we have got some ground that we need to overcome. We're only two points behind Lens, but there's a lot of teams in the mix there with Nice and Marseille as well, so we need to keep an eye on them. Mugin, oh, Patricio. They're going to get a consolation goal. They might do. No, they don't. We forced them to take the long shot there. Can't take any more players off, so we'll just crack on. Yeah, 19, 19 points behind PSG just tells you how much of a task we've got in, and in, uh, in place here. I think if Mbappe goes, it might make it a little bit easier, but they're still going to be a very strong team. Right then, I'm back in a sec with the next game. Right, we're back, and um, we've got Strasbourg away now. Kofi's back from his injury. Um, Blocks on the right. Didot is back as well from his suspension on the left. So let's see if Didot can get back on form because he's not been playing well the last few games. Few games. We should, in theory, be able to beat Strasbourg because. Um, they're near the bottom of the league, so their form is not going to be very good. So we hope we can take advantage of that. And Gary, beautiful little tech is there to get around him. Oh, that would have been a great little goal by him. Pinto crossed the block. Beautiful pass. Kofi, we'll see if it's allowed or not. Oh, no VAR? Are you sure? Are you feeling all right? Right, 1-0 to us. Get in. Good little start there. There we go. We're up to second now. At the moment, obviously. Um, let's just keep an eye on the latest scores. Oh, none of the teams are playing. They're playing after us, so there's no point doing that. There we go. Bastion. Didos. Equaliser by Strasbourg. Is he a real player, this player that just scored from? Or is he a regen? No, he's a real player. Okay, Norwegian, which I would never expect. I thought maybe Bulgarian or Russian from the name. Um, but yeah, Strasbourg signed him for 1.6 million. Right. Try and demand a bit more. We should be dominating them this game. Free kick to us, Angeli. Oh, get it. He loves a free kick, he does, Angeli. He's scoring some great free kicks at the moment. Two one to us, but Strasbourg have the ball. I think we. A penalty? What? Why? It was all the way over there, unless it was hit something. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what. I don't know what's happened there. But okay. Right, Popal, come on, keep us in this game. Save this penalty. Yes, get in, Popal. Go on. Yeah, screw you, referee, and your stupid decisions. Right, they've got a corner though. Right, two one. Coming up towards half time, we've got a corner. Floats it in.
Oh, beautiful pass in there. Oh, look at that. Oh, here we go. See what VAR says first. Yep, goal awarded. That's what we like to see. Balok's having a great game. He's had two assists. Angeli's having a really good game as well. He scored. Kofi scored. Kofi scored again. But VAR, as always, will decide. If this is allowed, it'll be a 24th goal of the season for him. There we go. He's having a great season uh, stepping up to League One this season. We've got him prob we probably have him for another four years, I reckon, before he starts. Um, yeah, about I'd say two or three years at least where... He'll stay really good, and then he'll start tailing off a bit. But he'll, he, he, if he comes down to it, he'll end up just being a really good impact sub or something in the last 10 minutes to go when we need a goal. Like I said, he'll stay here until he retires, if I can help it. I'm hoping he'll stay here until he retires. I don't want him to go. Angeli. Pinto. Didot hasn't done much in this game. He's got a 6.8 rating though, so... Oh, there you go. Talk of the devil. Oof. But, um, yeah, he hasn't really done much. Perhaps I might take him off in a sec. I'll see how it goes. I'll give him another 10 minutes, see if he can make a difference in this game. Oh, <laughs> he's definitely coming off now after missing that. That was atrocious. Right. We'll put on Tunia. Uh, Kofi needs to come off. We'll put on... Yeah, well, let's put on Kumas. A few tired legs coming up now, I reckon. Lebrun. But uh, great performance by these lot. Mugen. Oh, should have gone for a shot there, Mugen. Right, Mugen's knackered. We'll take you off. We'll put on. Hold on. Um, Angeli. Oh, we can't take any more players off, so we'll just have to make do now. But yeah. Doing well, currently second, winning 4-1 against Strasbourg with about 13 minutes to go. Sorry about that yawn. Good tackle. Good save. Right, let's just end this game now. Put them out of their misery. Neck and neck on points with Lens. We are second, but they've got to play their game, so they'll probably leapfrog past us before it's all said and done. But we're getting closer. Playing Nantes next, or, or Nantes. I don't know how you pronounce their name. Move into the second team. Um, right then, I'll be back in a sec with the next game. Right, we've got Nantes now. Or Nons, however you want to pronounce them. Um, just managed to get a, a new affiliate club in China. So uh, we've got Beijing Guzhan, or whatever they're called, as our uh, new affiliate club, which will help with money and finances and stuff like that. So that's good. Right, this is the team liner. Let's see how we get on. I don't want Izanga in the team. He's rubbish. Right. We're, getting, we're not having Izanga in the team. Put Dumas in there. Yeah, I wish the assistant manager would stop bloody picking Izanga. We ain't got to worry about it for much longer. He's gone at the end of the season. Yeah, we're back down to four because the other two teams won their game. Neck and neck on points with Marseille. Two points behind Lens.
good defensive play. Oh, no, I was going to say good defensive play, but nah. Anyway, didn't lead to a goal, so that's all that matters. All right, they've got a corner there. Good save. Another good save. Good ball there. Come on, Dumas. Beautiful pass. Kofi, you should have scored that. <sighs> can't have a go at him too much. He's doing well this season. I can't go on at him too much about that. But he, did, he should have finished that. Right, still... Still nil-nil. Oh, that was a beautiful goal by Paisley. Lovely little shot on him. 1-0. Let's see how we get on in the second half. Mugen, Dumas, beautiful pass, go on Pinto. Yes, go on. Our defenders doing well this uh, in this game, 2-0 to us. Good ball. Kofi's not playing very well though, so he might have to come off in a minute, unfortunately, having a poor game. So he's did up. Let's see what happens with this highlight. Oh, Mugen. No, a bit ambitious by you there, mate. Uh, right, Kofi can come off and we'll put on Tony Air. Did up can come off and we'll put on Hold on. Um, Bastion will have to come off now because he's knackered. Come on, Patricio. Right, 2-0. Uh, Angeli will come off. Balok is, Balok is on for Angeli. Balok had a very good game last game. Good header out. Another good header out by Pinto. Can't take any more players off, so we've just got to see this game out. Hopefully don't pick up any injuries. But yeah, 2-0. Oh, I thought that was going to trickle in then. Good save, pop out. Corner. If they get a, a goal here, it's going to be a tense last few minutes, I think. But hopefully they won't. Right, get in. 2 0. Lovely juggly. Right then, I'll uh, be back in a sec with the last game of the episode. Right, so we're playing Saint Etienne as the last game of the episode. Um, we are lacking in left back, so, so Paisley's playing the left back. We've got Gurunu in his place as centre back. Um, this doesn't work for me, so I'm going to do this and then do that. That's better. That seems better to me. Oh no, uh, LeBron, maybe, and then Bluge instead of. Gurunu, would that be better? Yeah, okay, I've slightly improved it from the assistant manager. Um, Zerbo in midfield with Thierry, and then Dida on the left, Angeli in the middle, Izanga, oh, I can't want Izanga in the team. Izanga's um, going to Birmingham City Football Club, by the way. We've just had an offer accepted. I mean, we, yeah, we just had them 
We just accept an offer for them and he's gone to them. Sorry, I can't get the words out. Hopefully my little tinkering around will benefit us. We're down to fifth now, which doesn't make sense. We win and then we somehow get further down the league. It's very frustrating. Right, sent NTN with the free kick. Good tackle. No, that was a fair challenge. Come on. That was a perfectly good tackle. Yeah, thank you. Right. Throw into us, Patricio. Has it back. Angeli lobs it in. Manages to keep the ball in. That was a bit of a defensive uh, goalkeeping catastrophe end though. Making there. That was a good goal by them. One nil to Saint NTN. That was a poor goalkeeper kick if I've ever seen one. Don't give it him back. He'll probably mess it up again. Pop out. Jesus Christ, he's making me nervous right now. Come on, Angeli, rescue us. Get us back in this game. Patricio, Thierry, Zerbo. Oh, what are you doing, Zerbo? Wake up. Kofi across to Lebrun. Beautiful pass. Ah, come on, Balak. Slowly, slowly. Ah, here we go. Oh, good save. I know, goal kick. I thought you saved it then. Right, Balok might need to come off sooner rather than later. Same as Angeli. Who else is that? Oh, it's, uh, let's try and fire him off. See if that'll do anything. Oh, oh no. It's made it even worse. Okay, you can come off block. Uh, we'll put Balmy on. Kofi, you're going to have to come off, I think. Right, tried fire at the players, see if that does anything. Good save by Popal, keeping us in the game. Come on, let's get an equaliser. No, ignoring that. He's injured anyway. <sighs> Down to 10 men. A few minutes to go. Oh, that was a... I mean, that was atrocious. Whatever, whoever did that one. 1-0. Uh, We're down to 5th now. Not the best way to end the episode. But we didn't have the best of episodes, really, to be honest. We lost to PSG at the start, and we lost, I think, two other games and that. Let's have a look. So in this episode... We lost to PSG and then we won three games in a row, but then obviously the other teams were winning as well and then we lost. So we've got three games left, which we'll do next episode. Um, and I'll, it'll be, so next episode will probably be a very short episode because there'll only be three games to play, but you don't need to worry about that until next week. Uh, anyway, I'll be back next week. Thank you as always for watching. And I'll speak to you soon. All the best. Bye.